Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to do another art project with an insect this time, which is of course an invertebrate, but I wanted to show you this first. This is a shark skeleton that Ben made on his 3D printer. It's pretty cool because it can wobble. I don't know if you can see that from where you are. And his little jaws can open and close as well. So be careful, you don't get eaten away, shark. Today we're going to paint a luna moth. A luna moth is an insect, and I wanted to show you how to draw it first. You'll notice that it has three body parts. It has a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. It's got its wings and the antenna. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the black lines um, before we paint it, okay? So the first step, is to find the very center of your paper. And from there, you're gonna make a deep U shape, okay? And then we're gonna cover the top of the U shape. I'm actually gonna take that deep U shape and I'm gonna make one more line around the middle of it to show that that is the, th the thorax and the abdomen. And then we're going to put the head on the top. So this is the body of the luna moth. Okay, from there we're going to make some wings. So start at the tip here and just make a nice big curve over and a nice big curve over like this. Now from here the shape is a little bit like an S. Let me move my shark skeleton. I'm going to make this shape right here. I'm going to make a bit of an S shape and then I'm going to do the opposite on this side. A bit of an S shape. It's not perfect and, and that's okay. Now I'm gonna make his lower wing. You'll notice that it curves around and then it swings out, okay? So I'm gonna start here on this side and I'm gonna start about here on this side. I'm gonna curve around and then I'm gonna go out, make a little bump and up to the body. And then here I'm gonna go around out, make a little bump and come round up to the body, okay? So from there, let's go ahead and put on his antenna. They're kind of feathery antenna. I'm gonna make them thick and feathery like they are on a moth. I don't know if you've ever seen a moth up close, but they have very feathery antenna. And now we're gonna decorate his wings. Oh, one more thing. Just a couple lines on his lower part of his abdomen there. All right, to decorate the wings, you're gonna draw a line across the top and a line across the top. I wanna to remind you that if I'm going too fast, you can ask your mom and dad to show you how to pause and then you can get caught up. And then I'm gonna do another line that kind of parallels the edge of the wing like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. Okay, so from there, they just have a couple cross hatch lines here on his wings. And then I'm gonna make the four circles. I kind of made the top ones like a, almost like an upside down triangle. I thought they looked neat that way. And then the ones on the bottom are more like ovals. So there you have your Luna Moth. Now the nice thing about the Luna Moth is you can use your colored pencils, you can paint him, and when you're done, you can even go and paint around the outside as well. A dark, dark blue like he's um, flying late at night. I'm not gonna paint him in because I think that, um, that we're done, but I'm gonna leave him here with you and we're going to say thank you so much and I hope someday that you can show me your Luna Moth in real life. Bye boys and girls. Remember to thank God out loud every day.